Hello YouTube, Damo underscore 23 here and welcome back to another episode here of Leicester Reborn. Today's episode was meant to be the Cabaret Cup final versus Liverpool. Like last year, it gets moved. I don't know how they move a game that's at Wembley for a final, but they've moved it yet again. With that being said, um, give the episode a like, subscribe to the YouTube channel. In today's episode, it may be Champions League action instead. Um, well, obviously, after the 0-0 draw against City, we're going to come back to give you the results of these two and obviously Liverpool. The game got rearranged because they wanted to give us the game against Fulham instead. Um, I did think the Cabaret Cup final made more sense to be played. Uh, and yeah, does mean that looking at the round of 16, that that's going to come first and that's the game we're going to give you. We also have Manchester United coming up in the league. But obviously we played Arsenal and replay in Chelsea and we won both games 2-1, so we're going to recap both of them for you now. Um, we dominated Chelsea, has to be said. They scored um, out of not much from a set piece with a Melier mistake late towards to give us some heart, some heart attacks. But this is the sort of game that we really should have won really well. A great press here, trapping inside. Smith Rowe to Velez. First game back from injury, left foot. Very nicely done. And our second goal here was a little bit lucky with a deflection that falls to us, but also very well worked in terms of Velez being Velez. As well, good hit was gonna go wide. Falls the Yaya. He had time. It's two one. Fantastic from us as well. Here's this mistake from Melier coming for a cross. Goes one handed. Don't know why he does. Misreads the ball. We then beat Chelsea two one in a game that we weren't particularly greatest in just now, but we did get a win. We were one 0 down to Sadio Mane. That's correct. Sadio Mane and Bentancur and Gearson have all just joined Chelsea. They have a very good sign of the Pep Guardiola. Um, but to come back from 1-0 down to win 2-1 at home at Stamford Bridge really shows that we're really good. Liverpool are the team trying to catch us now in the league. Of course they are, because they are unreal. Good goal from Mane, has to be said. Um, but yeah, we obviously uh, need to just keep playing the way we are. And if we win every game, we win the league. And that's the thing that we have to focus on. Uh, Thomas's ball takes a deflection to Elise. I don't think if, uh, if um, Reese James or Fofana doesn't get a touch there, that's going to be a goal by Velez. Anyway, good corner. Love your heads home. We lead 2-1, and there we go. That means in terms of the league table, as things stand, on 29 games played, we're two points clear on Liverpool with a superior goal difference. Chelsea and United have started dropping games. Chelsea obviously drew the last game as well beforehand, and then lost to us. Um, and if you look at United, they did something very similar -y or similar, um, where they lost to uh, Villa as well. Um, but yeah, obviously, now it might be around a 16 game here for the YouTube episode. Um, instead of the Cabaret Cup final, we are going to endeavour to give you the Cabaret Cup final. Um, last little bit before we get it, it go away is our run home isn't bad. United obviously difficult. Outside of that, Villa on paper should beat Watford, West Ham. Arsenal's difficult. Leeds is pretty good. Palace is okay. Sheffield's pretty good. Spurs on the final day have not had a particularly great season. Just going to put it out there, boys. If we can get through United in a couple of games' time, I really do think there's a world we could win out and maybe win the league. It's important to know if we scored our goals this season, we would be on top by about 10 points, and that would be utterly, utterly unsustainable with nine to go. Well, YouTube, this episode's going to be against PSG. Yeah, um, all right, we got PSG in the Champions League. Never easy, and it's early enough in the save that they're still really good with the powers they currently have, so trouble. Um, it is what it is. Uh, two years ago, we lost to Real Madrid in the semi-final. They won the competition. Last year, we lost to Bayern Munich in the, in the round of 16, and um, we, uh, they won the competition. So I guess when we lose to PSG, they're going to win the competition. Let's go have a look at PSG at the moment. Winning games are fun. In the league phase, they finished in 11th. Uh, with four wins, three draws, only lost the one game to Atletico Madrid. So, yeah, very, very harsh. And who did they just knock out? They beat Midgillin 1-0 and 3-2. So it's not the most convincing. Um, let's just go have a look at them quickly as well. Five at the back under Thomas Tuchel. That's fun. Gahey, Marquinhos, Mendes, Akimi, Vitino, Declan Rice, Grealish, Mbappe and Soler. I think we've played them once before by the Bills. I think we have, haven't we? I reckon we played them last year, PSG. Yeah, we drew 1-1 one, one at home, so mm. I really do think PSG are going to be the team that we are going to be playing. We've now got them in a few days' time after Fulham, so we're about to rotate here. But yeah, PSG, big game, don't like it at all. Ouch. Path the Prince, PSG, one of the hardest ties you can get in the Champions League for sure, and we've got it. Um, we have also, for the first time since being in the Premier League, not made the final of the FA Cup. Uh, we fully rotated, went 3-0 down against Fulham, and to be fair, Fulham did deserve to win this game based on their first half. 
Um, we then scored two goals really late. I didn't even bother making a change. I, I you know, it was just like, yeah, just, it is what it is. Um, lose the game. And the main reason I did that is to give us an extra couple of te- days break when we are playing in the Premier League where you can focus just week to week. Secondly, by doing that, it gives us a fully full-strength side here against PSG. I'm hoping upon hope that gives us a really good foot ground to go against PSG here. I, I really, really think if we can get past PSG, we'll be okay. In terms of the team, we do have Tomori and Tarum suspended. Wish I'd put them in for the uh, FA Cup game now, but oh well. Outside that, the rest of the team picks itself. It's Melier Livermento. Linus comes in because I think he's been playing very well um, and deserves it. He's starting to develop slowly. Marsha and Thomas. Lavier and Scott. Scott's been developing fantastically well, so I am going to give him the game time here. I think he's been great. Um, Elise Smith Rowe, uh, Asan, and obviously Velez up front, who is averaging an eight over his last five games that he's been selected in. So he's been fantastic too. This is a big game in terms of this season because PSG and PSG. Let's go have a look at how good they look. Uh, Donnarumma is Donnarumma. Uh, Marquinhos is Marquinhos. Um, Emmanuel looks decent, not 100% fit. They look like they played not too long ago, so they're not 100% fit themselves. Bettina's not bad. Declan Rice doesn't look fit. You know, Mendes doesn't look fit. Mbappe doesn't look fit. Bundy is there. That's a great sign for them. Gab Gillish and Mbappe. Bench, obviously, they've got options. Emery Green, a world class for me. Soler uh, is there as well. Just, yeah, very, very good side. Namers on the bench. Because why not? Um, yeah, look, uh, they must have played only a few days ago here, PSG. Um, and they're a very world class side. So, look, in France, you'd think as long as this game is even, we can do something in England. Just you look at PSG and you look at Grealish and Bappe Bundy and you're just like, oh, okay, yeah, they're good. Right, yeah, okay. Mendes and Hakimi on the overlap, five at the back. I'm telling you right now, if we can walk away with a draw here and bring this one back to, to the King Power, we might be all right. So far, 28 minutes played. Games had not much in it, which I am over the moon with. This is one of those games you just want to see this one tick away. You don't care. You bring it back to England and you have a shootout against them over 90 minutes. Liveramento throws in the Smith Row. Loses out to Grealish. Declan Rice looks towards Mbappe. And we force a, a turnover and Linus sweeps up. Liveramento finds Elise. Good ball looking for Thomas. Finds him. Velez is lurking. Doesn't find it. Aerial ball. No one wins it. Headed back to Hakimi. Back to Marquinhos. We look to squeeze. Bundia. Thomas squeezes. Doesn't win. Declan Rice now. Ball into Grealish. Out there, Livermento wins. Elise now needs a runner. Looks for Velez. Good touch. Velez, 1-0. He's on side. We lead 1-0 in France. It's Luis Jorge Velez. The Colombian is world class. A six foot seven one can striker is elite. And well, when you give him an opportunity, he scores. He's consistent. He's brilliant. It's his 32nd of the year. He's missed a few weeks of injuries. He's had eight or nine games he didn't score in a row. Outside of that, he's been scoring goals for fun. And we lead 1-0, we take a lead, and that was a great press from us. And well, boys, that is brilliant. All right, here we go. Um, Tied is Alex Scott, which is fair enough. Don't know who we can really bring back into defensive midfield. James Justin? I could move Linus in the centre-back and then put someone else at centre-back, like Marcus Vinicius. I'm actually thinking of doing this. I'm actually going to go like that. And Lavi is actually going to go in as a defeat blind playmaker and support. Linus have moved... Ball winning, we've done that before. And we're going to go with Marcos Vinicius now at the back. 15 minutes played. PSG have only had two chances all day. This is really good from us. And the longer this ticks away, PSG are a little bit more legless than us. So I'm very happy with this too. Awu, who's a bit tired in Bappe now. Awu, Bettina. Out there, Hakimi. Soler's got numbers queuing. Deflected. Wow, falls the name of Hakimi. Nuno Mendes. Bit lucky. Falls to Hakimi. Of all the ways for them to score, that's their first shot on target in the 64th minute. We concede every time, don't we? But far out. Look at the luckiness here. Soler's cross. Hits the back of someone and falls the name of. Could have gone out for a corner. Could have gone outside the box. Could have fallen to one of us. No, falls the name of. 64 minutes play, PSG, 0.17 XG, score, watch new. 70 minutes play, Yaya has been in really good form, so he's in for Hassan. Velez out for Silva, tied back four, quick striker, straight away. I think that's very important here. Um, 
Carter's going to come in for Livramento or Thomas, and I'm going to move these two around. Hopefully we find a silver over the top. Would be nice. Been the better side here. It's probably a tough draw to take. I'll take a draw, but I don't think we deserve it. Look, 1-1, one, one, we were the better team. We were the better team here in France. We play that well in England, we'll be fine. My issue is, is PSG were tired. They are there for the taking. We led 1-0. It's a very, very lucky goal. They only had one shot on target for 1-1. One, one. It's a very satisfying result because it puts us in the driving seat. Second leg at home. We look pretty good. Hopefully we're all right. We don't have a game for eight days. Now, does PSG not have a game for eight days? Or PSG play midweek? Please play midweek. They got Marseille. They only have a four-day break. Hopefully they come in a touch tired. We're, not, we're going to just let the boys be the boys. We've got a full break before this one. Look, 1-1. One, one, we were the better team. Data Hub's going to prove that too. That, you know, we were the better team for periods. PSG did score when they were on top. Even their goal was lucky. Yeah, it is what it is. But look, we're at home. We win this game. We win the tie. Let's see what happens. I'll be back in a sec. PSG, round of 16, at home. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we get the job done here. You know, it would be nice. It would be fantastic if we could. We were the better team against PSG. We had a full eight days of rest. Everybody's fit, raring to go, apart from Tamori, who's coming back from injury. Not 100% match fit, but is fit to start. Um, with this team that we got out here, the form Velas is in, for instance, etc. I do expect us to go out there and win this game in the second leg. At home, we're world class. Away from home, mm, at, ho away from, uh, at home, we are world class. Let's go see how PSG line up. They played four days earlier, obviously. Um, so I'm hoping there's a little bit of tiredness. There isn't. There isn't at all. Um, Donnarumma, Marquinhos, Aru, Ngehi, Kimi, Bettina, Declan Rice, Nuno Mendes. Soler, uh, Soler starts and um, Bonier comes out. Only change. I made one change. Grealish and Mbappe. So they're a full strep side. Uh, just another day at the office. He's a very important player for them. I would have loved to see them a little bit more tired and away we go. Kim's about to walk out. Rob's just asked me on my thoughts for Liverpool for the season. Um, I think we'll have a really good year. Um, I, from what I can see of pre-season, Darwin's look fantastic. Obviously watch more of the highlights of the game it's playing right now, but I've been keeping tabs on it on my phone. Um, on top of that as well, um, you know, and well, for what I saw towards the end of the season with Trent being this inverted wing back, etc., it looked very creative. Um, so I'm hoping um, that we see that Liverpool start. I feel like Liverpool are going to have a lot better year than last year. Um, I don't want to go out and say we're going to win the league, but not being in Champions League, I think we'll give City a pretty close run. And I think us, Arsenal and City will go pretty close to down to the final couple of days to win the title. Um, which means that it means United and Chelsea and, um, and etc. are all going to be fighting for fourth spot. And I think that Liverpool finished top three is what I'm trying to say. Anyway, highlight here. Son in the Smith Row. Ball over the top of the Vellas who looked offside. Donnarumma saves. It would have been offside. Four minutes in, nil nil. We need that first goal, you feel. Against the five at the back of PSG, we need that first goal. If they get the first goal, they are set up superbly well. Somehow not dominating possession, though, at home. Smith Rowe. Turum. Thomas. Hikimi. McQuinios. Vettina. Boy over the top towards Mbappe. Livermento and Tamori run into each other. Always worrying when I see that in the Champions League. That generally leads the goals. Anyway, Jose Marshall, love you. Important to know, we also made a promise with Liverpool. We rejected about 40 mil, which is really low, from um, Real Madrid. And he wanted to stay only if we can get the latest stage of the Champions League, um, which I told him we will. To get PSG was pretty hard. Anyway, ball, Elise, he's on side. We should lead 1 0. Elise looked on. I think Velez was off. Elise's on. I reckon we're 1 0 up here 14 minutes in. It's a great ball win from Luke Thomas, who we've stuck through thick and thin. And that is a goal awarded. We currently lead PSG, 14 minutes played at home. Smith Road to Rum, great ball in by Asan to find Thomas. That's a great cross. Elise onside, taps past Don Maruma. Mr. Elise, that is 1 0. Apparently looking for an offside flag here against Elise. He looked on, he is. Velez was off, but mercifully he decided he didn't want it. We'll take it, that's 1 0.
Anyway, 35 minutes played, 1 0. Hakimi, ball inside. They hit the bar with really show um, someone just scored a way out of the world of a goal in the Women's World Cup. So, if I look, it's a big game on too. I've just got a snap out from my friends, 42 minutes played. Yeah, Colombia beating Germany 1 0. It was a fantastic goal uh, from Allegra, I think. Very good first half, boys. Second half to begin. We're 45 minutes away from knocking out PSG and throwing away the FA Cup was worth it then. PSG have looked better today than they did in their home leg. At the moment, things stand. Because this game has the potential to go to extra time and pens, we are not making early changes today. Today is a game where this team will play a lot of the game today. 70 minutes play, even contest apart from possession. We've given away the ball to PSG a bit, but we're doing what we need to do. 79 minutes play, we're gonna make our first couple changes. Silver for Velez. Velez not having the best of game. He could take a penalty for us. Silver's not really a penalty taker. Oh, sorry, he's got 13 penalty taking. Make that change. Um, who can take a penalty here? I'm just thinking of penalties. Rooney's got 10, Fuller's got 10, Garcia's got six. Scott's got six. I think if that's the case then, Fuller just comes in light for light. The rest of the team looks pretty tired. Two changes here. 85th minute. If they score right now, that would be annoying. Nuno Mendes, Mukieli, Elise. Silver's quick. He's got 18 pace. Acceleration. And he gives it away. Just turn on the afterburner, son. No one should catch you. They go long. Neymar will people win a flick on header. Tamori's got time. Jose Marsha. Tamori. Livramento. Good squeeze. In bar. Don't give it to that boy. He hits the bar. Start time wasting. Move us to balance. Wing back on support. Wing back on support. Lovely can't really take a penalty. Tarum sort of can take a penalty. I don't really have midfielders to bring in here. This is the issue. James Justin's going to come in just like for like. Sun's got 12 penalty taking. elise has got 13. Don't want to particularly take either of them off. Yaya's going to come in. Sun's going to come out. Make those changes. Quarter highlight, is it? No. All right, here we go. Time ticks. Come on, boys. Mastermind of a win against PSG. We drew 1-1 one, one away in France. We win 1-0 at home. We are through to the next round of the Champions League. Huge. Absolutely huge. Did what we needed to do. Scored our goal. We got through. That's all that matters. Man City knocked out Arsenal as well. And there we are. We didn't deserve anything. No, you did not, Tushil. We were better. We deserved to have won the first leg. That is massive. Next time we see each other, guys, Liverpool also played and lost midweek where we got a week off for whatever reason, which means if we beat United, we are going to be a few points clear, which is huge. But we have won the Cabaret Cup. Next episode's Wembley. Cabaret Cup. Let's see if we beat Liverpool. And that is next episode. Thank you, guys. Have a great one. Catch you next time. Bye.